Hello and welcome back to another Understand Your Buy video. In this video, we're looking at the wish list effect. So what is it? Well, allowing your buyers to create a wish list of things they want to buy but without them having to actually buy them can help them to bookmark what they need and come back to it later. This is obviously more relevant for e-commerce solutions and shops and websites, etc. But it's well worthy of note. How does it work? Well, it works because now isn't always the right time for somebody to buy. And depending on your offering, your buyer might need to conduct research or organize other things before they can actually make a buying decision. By creating a list, a wish list, that they can, can they can come back to, they avoid the annoyance of having to relook at everything they need. So how can you use it? Well, this is nearly 100% only applicable to websites, as I say, and, and shops. But think about how you can let potential buyers bookmark the things that they might buy in the future to ensure that when the moment comes, there's no friction in them choosing you to buy from. So that's the wish list effect. Allowing buyers to create their own wish list of things they want from you maximizes your chance of being remembered when they are ready to make a buying decision. Well, that's it for another Understand Your Buyer video. And if you like this kind of stuff, then you'll definitely like the book, which you can buy at understandyourbuyer.com.